it's a big game, yeah. Um, we go into it very confidently after playing very well on Friday, but you can't hide away from the fact that there's a lot of uh, a lot riding on this game financially, you know, for the fans with with going up, and and of course individually for all our own careers. But uh, it's about managing that, and we've got the right people around us to do that. We've got a fantastic manager, good staff, and a good dressing room. You say we can't hide away from it. Is it something you want to hide away from, or, or do you want to embrace the whole experience? Yeah, you've got to use it to your advantage. You've got to step out of Wembley and be amazed, because everyone will be. It's a fantastic ground. It's a national stadium, and it will be full. I hope so, I hope so anyway, and it will be a rocking with a lot of T-siders there, and we know what they can do after Friday, what an atmosphere they can create, and that, that worked in our advantage the other night, and uh, hopefully they can replicate that. Yeah, I was lucky enough to be on the pitch with you at the end as you as you all walked round, and you were clearly not just you, but you were clearly struck by the response you'd got. Was that a bit of an eye opener for you? Because you've played in front of big crowds at the Riverside before. Yeah, there was an extra special feeling. I think they could, the fans could could really believe for for a hundred percent that we were definitely going to Wembley. I, I know that sounds stupid, but there's been this belief going round and the hashtag believe and all this, and I think people have done all season. But uh, there was a realization that maybe you know we can do it, and uh, they sh- certainly showed us uh, what they can do, and the noise they can make, and the atmosphere they can create, and uh, we, we we played well, and um, I think they they appreciated that, and of course, like every game, even when the Riverside wasn't full, we appreciated their support. I always have, so um, yeah, it was excellent. It was a special moment. There'll be. Butterflies, yeah, there'll probably be a few more nerves. I'm, I'm not going to shy away from that, but there'll be excitement as well. Yeah, I get very excited playing in any game. I buzz around the place beforehand, but people prefer prepare differently. I mean, Kai used to be doing, you know, somersaults and backflips and break dancing, and and other players just like to to sit there and and listen to their own music. It's it's all down to the individual, but there'll be a lot of uh, nerves, I'm sure. But the manager will, and the, the more experienced players in the squad will help others. Um, deal with that but that special feeling is carried through all the time and it's helped us at times to get through some some harder moments but we, we've always done well against setbacks and we've been on good runs at the same time so I think as, as a group there, there's a real good team spirit very good I mean Led's mentioned the other day it was the best he had, he had played in, in terms of team spirit and I'd probably echo that it's it's a really special group and hopefully it's a special team that can get get promoted there was a bit of edge as well with Brentford, wasn't there? I, I lost count of the number of players who said to me afterwards, oh yeah, we only score from free kicks, don't we? We only score from set feats as well. Um, you've beaten Norwich twice this season, mm-hmm. just like you beat Brentford twice. And it would appear Nathan Redmond thinks you've been a bit lucky to beat them twice. So is that the sort of thing that, that you'll all use again? To be honest, in terms of like the Brentford time, we didn't get involved in it. It's not, we just want to get on with our own thing. and I think It obviously niggled though, didn't it? Yeah, but you don't. You just don't get involved in it in the preparation. You you use it, yeah, and and you think, well, why are they complaining? We, we, you beat Brentford four times in a row. I mean, that's not luck, is it? But um, I think you, we just want to we just want to get on with our own things, and we let them say whatever they want. But on the day, the better team should win it, and uh, we both deserve to be there. I've, I've got a lot of respect for Norwich. They've got some very good players, Premier League quality players. They've not long been out of the Premier League, so uh, we have to respect them in that way. But at the same time, we've just got to maybe use any comments like that not to get angry or over-aroused about it and, and go in fighting, but just, just quietly know that we, we can... we can uh, What's the best way to say it? We, we can get the better of them and, and, and be confident in ourselves that as a team we deserve to be where we are.